Hey guys, the Deputy National Youth Leader of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Timothy Osadolo, has issued a stem advisory to the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN Justice Kayode Ariwola, urging him not to participate in the Supreme Court panel responsible for reviewing the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal judgment. This cancel comes in the wake of the presidential election petition's recent ruling, which upheld the election of President Bola Tinubu from the All Progressive Congress in the February 25th presidential election. In the aftermath of the pres presidential election petition court judgment, both the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party Atiku Abubakar and the Labour Party's Peter Obi openly contested the court's decision and pledged to escalate their challenge to the Supreme Court. Timothy Osadolos' advice is rooted in a period statement attributed to the CJN Ariwala, where he publicly supported Oyo State Governor Shea Makinde's association with the G5 a fashion compromising aggrieved governors who oppose Aucha Ayu, a chairmanship of the PDP, especially following Atiku's emergence as the party's candidate. Back in November 2022, during an event in Port Harcourt hosted by the River State Governor in honor of the then Governor Jetson Wiki, Justice Ari Walla commended Mackin Days. G5 membership. This move drew criticism from the PDP's National Working Committee at that time. Osad the law expressed his expectations, stating, I would expect the CJN after the gaff wherein he exposed his partisan self with the declaration of support for the G5 when it got too excited to recall himself from any panel that is constituted from, for political reasons, particularly one as sensitive and important as the one to look into the presidential election petition called judgment that is contentious for a wide range of seasons. He would not do anything to taint the image of our judiciary further the whole world is watching, and he, of all people, should know better that his membership of the panel will raise several will raise several questions. The call for the CJN to abstain from the Supreme Court panel is driven for concerns over potential bias and the need to uphold the integrity of the judiciary in a contentious and vital matter such as a review of the presidential election petition court judgment. Earlier, the report has it that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwala, is set to constitute the Supreme Court panel that will hear the appeal arising from the recent judgment of the presidential election petitions court. This development is expected to occur by Wednesday at the latest. On September 6, 2023, the Presidential Election Petitions Court delivered a comprehensive 12-hour judgment on the appeals related to the February 25, 2023 presidential election. The judgment upheld the election victory of President Bola Tinubu who ran under the banner of the All Progressive Congress APC. However, the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party PDP and the Labour Party, namely Atiku Abubak and Peter Obi, expressed their disagreement with the court decision and vowed to take their case to the Supreme Court. They were given a 14-day window from the day of the presidential election petition judgment to file their appeals at the Supreme Court. This 12-day period is scheduled to conclude 
on Wednesday, why both legal teams are diligently preparing their appeals to meet the deadline. There, are, there have been reports that the CJN Ariwala has not yet formed the panel of Supreme Court Justice who will hear the appeals. Sources within the Supreme Court have revealed that the CJN Hariwala is expected to constitute the panel on Wednesday, coinciding with the aspirations of the filing deadline for the appeals. The identities of the justices who will com comprise the panel remain undisclosed at this time. It has also been disclosed that Peter Obi's legal team plans to submit their appeal on, Wednesday, on Tuesday. There are no indications of any changes to the composition of their legal team, and they express confidence in the capabilities of their current legal representatives. Dr. Livy Uzoko, the lead counsel for Peter Obi, confirmed that they are actively working on the panel, but have yet to determine a specific submission date. These developments had as air of anticipation as the legal battle over the presidential election has come heads to the highest court in Nigeria. So guys, what do you what do you think? Guys, what do you think concerning this? Share your like. Tell us your opinion in the comment section.